This is a cry of a broken woman. For this, I lay a curse on Omar Dalla. From today, it's what? Omar Dalla will know no peace. Omar Dalla will never see progress. Then I will never see success as they have seen peace in my life. So shall their daughters never have peace in their marriages. They will never be happy. Your Majesty, it is only right for you to open up to me. Tell me what troubles the Queen of Umudala Kingdom. Your Majesty, you called me, and I have been here. You have not said anything. Open up to me. What is the problem? Honestly speaking, my heart is troubled. And I do not think I can wait for His Majesty to return before relating it to anyone. I consider you my husband's friend, if not his best friend. So I should be able to confide in you. It has to do with what is happening. I mean, what we are facing in our kingdom. Obviously, you are saying something. But I am not going to say anything until you come out clear. I need you to speak to me. I need to understand what you are saying for me to say my own. Oh no, you should understand what I'm talking about. Can't you see what is happening in our kingdom? That this kingdom is facing a lot of challenges. Our youths are not prospering at all. Our beautiful maidens are not getting married. What of our men? Our men, prosperity is far from their businesses. Yet, you tell me you're not seeing anything. These things are visible for you to see. Well, Your Majesty, you are beginning to come out. But uh, you are not completely out. And I want you to come out. If you come out, I will know. What are you saying? You should know what I'm talking about. I mean, you should even know what I have in mind even before I open my mouth to say it in your position. Our kingdom has the most beautiful and well-behaved women. In fact, our women are the best amongst our neighboring kingdoms. Yet, no man is asking for their hands in marriage. No man. We have a problem in this land, no? I agree completely. We have a problem in this land, and I am telling you that uh, we are the cause of our problems. Uh, don't stand scared, but I am going to tell you the truth. Our kingdom is doomed, and it is our fault. I don't understand. I don't get it when you say it's our fault. As in, we are the cause of our problems. I don't get it. 
Well, let me say it because I am, it is very clear now you have spoken like the queen. At least you have made me understand, you have managed to understand the problem. Before you called me here, you know, to list all these things that you identify to be our problems, I have already made an effort in my capacity as the you know of Umudala Kingdom to solve the problem. I traveled all the way to Aguleri to consult his CDNU. And that man, after ministering to me on the caduces of Ogili, explained the problem to me in clear terms. Our kingdom has become a laughing stock among all the kingdoms around us. And it's obvious our king doesn't want to do anything about it. I am of the same opinion with Sichi and Banefo. Oh no, look at the neighboring towns. They are doing better than us. We are stuck in the middle. Matter of fact, we are stuck behind. Sincerely, we are the representatives of our people. So we must do something. Truthfully, is a must we do something. Hmm. Thank you, my elders. I have heard all you said. But it's not like our king doesn't want to do anything about it. He has given us the go ahead to do whatever we feel that is necessary. Sincerely, I have been thinking. And I came up with a suggestion that we should step out. I mean, we should go out of our kingdom to seek for a solution to our problem so that it will come to our people as a surprise. Oh no, you're right. Oh no, but the question is from where do we seek for this solution? Yes, because other kingdoms cannot be progressing and doing well while we remain where we are. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, uh, I have a friend at Ohe who once told me of one powerful Dibia by name Obwefi Une. I think we should proceed on a journey to Ohe. And I believe we have a solution to our problem. Hmm. <laughs> the same thing that brought you men, the same thing that moved you men to come here to inquire has also moved me to find the solution to your problems. Who is one? This is a hard woman. Please tell us what is the solution to our problem. I am going to come to your land with the port of Oruru. All the setback demons in your land will be conjured into that port. And when that happens, goodness and prosperity will be on your land. Why is one? We are ready. In fact, anything, anything, any amount, whatever you want, we are ready to give it to you. Anything. This is a communal effort. We are willing to pay to put all our resources together to solve our common problem. Yes. <laughs> the payment is not going to be a problem. But a virgin maiden will be made to carry the pot of Oruru. To a spot, I will show you. This spot of sacrifice, when left on that spot, is going to cleanse your land and bring the breeze of wealth, progress, and prosperity. 
What's one? Thank, thank you so much. Uh, but why a virgin maiden? Uh, at least one of us here can take the report to the place they are going to show us. No! That is impossible. It must be lifted by a maiden who is a virgin. The maiden symbolizes purity. And I'm sure it is pure words you people want in your life. Tradition is not evil. It is the ways of our <clears throat> You see, my daughters, I should have let your mother do this. But I cannot wait until she returns from her maternal home. It is a matter of urgent kingdom importance. And uh, I am doing this to save my kingdom. Um, Papa, you sound so worried. What is the problem? Papa, we are your daughters and we can do anything for you. Yes. Even Adama here, who is your niece, can he call it die for you? Please tell us, what's the problem? Exactly, Papa. Mm -hmm. Tell us what the problem is. Good. <clears throat> I love this assurance from three of you. And this exercise is for two of you. Yes. If you know you are still a virgin maiden of Mother Kingdom, please step out. But see me, you don't understand my question of what? Have you all gone deaf? Do you want me to repeat myself? My daughter, are you sure you are still a virgin? Please, don't risk your life. Makane, if you know you are not, please tell me. I will not wait against you. I am still a virgin, Papa. Even the universe can bear me witness that I have not lied. So automatically, I have finally confirmed that my daughters have long compromised themselves to the rank of those useless, stupid, and worthless maidens in this kingdom. Eh? So, Una will live, live. Ah. <laughs> now, let me take two of you. See, I don't have anything to tell two of you until your mother returns. Come on, brothers! Come on, my brothers! Um, my dear, please come. Come close to me. Oh, my dear, you have already made me proud. Even as an orphan. You've managed to hold yourself onto high moral values of a woman of this great kingdom. Oh. May the cause of the former days of this kingdom, they will never stop blessing you. I say they will bless you more, Papa. Thank you, my dear. You see, my dear, the time will always come in a family where you got to know who is who. And the time is this. Uh, my dear, I must say this to you. You have carved your name into my heart. And today you made me proud. May the gods of our land bless you. He said. All days of your life, you will never see anything evil. He said. As you are going out and coming in, the gods of this land will protect you. He said. It shall be with you in again. He said. You know, Afo, Nkwo, all the days of your life. Thank you, my daughter. Thank you, my daughter. Azoka, mm? I'm still wondering why Papa is interested to know if we are still virgins or not. I'm still surprised he asked that. I mean, 
What is a father's business with the faging status of his daughters? I don't know. I'm just scared about our mother. She will so deal with us when she returns, though. I'm even regretting why I didn't tell her it's a bad deal. You don't need to regret anything, for that would have been a double punishment. If he eventually finds out that we are not, I can no get you. Not true. Look at her. Mm. <laughs> the universe will not only bear you witness, the universe will kill you. Mm -hmm. Why are you people mocking and laying curses on me? Shut up! Make sure you get back. Eh? Are you better than us? Enjoy ya. See, if you like, carry it for 100 years, you will still lose it. Eh, got the kind? Bam. Yes, I know I will still lose it. But I will lose it to the man who will make me his wife. It is a standard in Umodala and all the kingdoms in Igbo land. And I am sticking to it. I have no regrets. And who told you that some of us have already lost ours? Do not have intention of losing it to our dream husbands. Or do you think we lost it to men we do not like? Nena, why are you arguing with this girl? Eh? Why are you wasting your time? This? Please, just let her be. What argument are you even talking about? Are you justifying the fact that a maiden should be sexually active before getting married? No, no, no. That is very wrong and... And shut up. And nothing. Who are you educating? Tell me. Joy. Huh? Are you better than us? No, Wait, let me ask you this question. What if you marry a man that you don't know and you let her discover that he cannot even perform? Like he cannot do very well. What will you do? Tell me, I let him get me. A decent maiden of Umuadala should be praying for her man in advance so such misfortune will not be for her. <laughs> Azaka, mm, please let's just sister. leave this fool here and go. Idiot. Our tradition is not evil. It is the ways of our vandals. So sacred and pure. This is a very serious issue. Very serious issue. We couldn't find any virgin. Even my daughters. Two of my daughters, none is a virgin. Oh, my boy, a regular virgin, none. My brother, it's not only you. Even in my household, there's none. You know, I have two young daughters, and none of them is virgin. And my wife cannot give me an explanation. I married my wife a virgin, and they're not up to the age of my wife when I married her. So, what do we do now? Do we get the women assembly of Omodala involved? Who knows? Maybe they might help us find one. Hmm. Oh, Macau. Hmm. That's a nice suggestion. Hmm. But the question is, how do we go about it? <clears throat> there will be no need for all that. Yes. Our forefathers has made it possible for me to find a Virgin Maiden that is going to help us lift the pot of sacrifice to the spot. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's a good news or no? Yeah. Virgin Kwa. Yeah. Oh, no. That's good news. Yes. <laughs> Speak on no. Adama. Adabeke. Please come. Our tradition is not evil. It is the ways of our vandals. So sacred and pure. Nine day one. Greetings, my fathers. Ah. This is the person that is going to help us lift the pot of sacrifice to the spot. Right. Sacrifice? Yes, my daughter. What sacrifice, Papa? Oh, wait, oh, wait, <clears throat> um, my daughter, you are going to help us to carry out a cleansing ritual that is going to bring restoration, good health, prosperity, and uh, uh, every good thing life can offer into this great kingdom. I think you should be happy and be proud to be part of it. Oh, Omaka, Omaka. Our daughter. Nothing would happen to you. Don't worry. 
truthfully, nothing would happen to you. Yes. Matter of fact, you should see it as a privilege yes. for you to partake in this sacrifice. Yes. It's not easy. It's a privilege, my daughter. Please. Uh, Adam, it's going to be a blessing for you to be part of the process of cleansing of this kingdom. Yes. Hmm? You don't have anything to be afraid of, okay? You know? Would that like you? Our tradition is not evil. It is the ways of our fathers. So separate. I do not understand what you are saying, my lord. It is not my idea. My uncle brought up this whole idea. Your uncle every time. Your uncle. What if something happens to you? According to him, nothing will happen to me. Even the elders made me believe that it is a privilege for me to be the chosen one to carry the pot of sacrifice to set our land free from setback. The way I am seeing things, I will be hated by my uncle and the elders in council if I ever turn them down. What if something happens to you? I understand, but I don't know why I'm having this ill feeling about this. I will be fine, my love. This is what I am doing for my land and as a daughter of a warrior. I know my father will be happy for me in his grief. I love you. Whatever happens, just know that I love you and I always do. I know you love me. That is why you have not been pressurizing me to lose my virginity for you. I love you too. What we need now is solution. Oy, what we need now is a remedy. Some say let's pray, some say let's do the ritual. Oy, we need to appease the gods of our land. Problem in the land. Oh, more than I hey. Hey. We are on the cars. Yeah. This is the spot where you drop the pot of sacrifice. No, you and your elders get a portion from the earth and pour it into the pot. We have done our part. And the gods will give the blessings. The people of your land now will continue to move from fortune to fortune. They shall continue to enjoy good luck, peace, and prosperity on your land. From now going forward, it will be from one good news to another. I banish setback and poverty in your land and there will be progress and success in your land thank you so much Obuefi. now that we are through with the final sacrifice what next should we go home now and wait for the new change you all can go and await a great change. A change that will change the destiny of your land for the better. Yeah. But you cannot go with the bearer of the sacrifice. Huh? What? 
That's not good. Why? But I thought we are done with the process. Huh? Yes. Uh -huh. She is going to return with me as my wife. It is only that way the sacrifice can have effect. Wise wife. I, I don't think I heard you clearly or I, I understand what you mean by it. She will be returned with you. I just passed a message. This maiden that carried the pot of sacrifice will not return with you, but will go with me. If not, the whole process will be contaminated and it will trigger the evil spirit of Thor and Fro. And your land will face a calamity that has never happened to any land before. Is there no other way out? We are ready to pay anything. We are ready to do. Just anything. say it and you will anything. have anything. Uh, I can say my goods. I can we say all my have goods. We have goods. There is no other way. I've already volunteered to make her my wife. And she's not going back with you to your land. <laughs> Father, don't listen to this man. <laughs> Father, don't listen to him. I only accepted to carry this pot because I want to redeem the land. Father, I am in love with another man. We are getting married to each other. We love ourselves so much. You cannot marry another man after lifting the pot of sacrifice. Father, no one told me this earlier. You people said I should just come and carry the pot of sacrifice to redeem the land. Father, I cannot marry this man. I don't know what he's talking about. My daughter, please calm down, Biko. How can I calm down? I have been keeping my virginity for the man I love. He has no bother to take it because he is a decent man who is waiting till we get married. Father, please, I don't I can't marry this man. Please, Father. Please, Father. In all honesty, I feel for this young woman here. But you didn't explain this initially to us. We exactly. would have known what to tell her. Exactly. This is the decision of Agu that we just lifted from your land. I don't know, I don't Do know. Do you want us to disobey Agu? I don't know what he's talking about. I don't know what he meant by Agu. But you cannot marry this man old enough to be my father. And what do we do now? Uh, 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 Please, this is a very serious case. It has never been heard in the history that the elders of this land will take a maiden out of the land and not come back with her. It's not good for her. Please, do whatever you can do, please. Is there no other way? Um, but we, we cannot come this far to return. Yes, yes, that is the truth. Since she has decided to carry the sacrifice for the kingdom, she has to complete the exercise for the kingdom. No, man. To, to, to. Uh, yes. I think we don't have any other choice than to give her to him for the sake of our kingdom. In her jaw, God dying. The sake of the kingdom, this is too much. Good. So, now, Onowu, her father, is here with us. He can go ahead and make the declaration. Father, please don't make any declaration. There's nothing we can do about it. But we can't go back. Father, please. With all we've been through. <laughs> my, my daughter. Father. You are already married to, to him. Father. Oh, boy, me. Oh, don't know him. I give my daughter to you. Father. As your wife. Father. You have made the right decision. 
You can all go and watch your kingdom progress. <laughs> what we need now is solution. Elders, elders, sincerely, I have to say my mind. I am not happy. I'm not happy about what happened. That girl is supposed to be my daughter-in-law. That girl is supposed to get married to my son. Look at how we just gave her away like that. Iche Mbanefo, this shouldn't be about personal interests. This should be about what we've started. The bid to resuscitate the kingdom and how far we have gone. It's not a personal thing. Please, <clears throat> let us go home and hope the sacrifice revives our kingdom. Simple. What we need now is solution. It is well. It is well. Oh, it is well. 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 It is Papa, Papa, how can you tell me that you, you elders married off Adama to that old fool? How? What you doubt? What you doubt? What is wrong with you? Papa, I'm sorry. Papa, I'm sorry, but this is not just right. This is not right. How can you elders marry off a girl at this spot without her consent to a man she never loved? Papa, this is barbaric now, and you know it. Emeka, there's nothing you will say now that will change anything. There's nothing you will say that change anything. If I tell you I don't feel your pains, I'm lying to you. I know how much both of you love each other, but there was nothing I could do, okay? I'm sorry, there's nothing anybody could do. You'll find another person, you know? I felt this. I felt this, but I was not just able to, I was not just able to understand it. Papa, calm down, calm down. It's not anybody's fault. Oh, if you they said that is what the ghosts of the land demand, there's nothing anybody could do, okay? You we'll definitely find another person. Papa, this is not right, Papa. It's okay. Papa, this is not it's right. Okay. This is not just right. I know right. how you feel. You know? Sorry. Gods of our land. Why will you let this to happen to me? How can I ever be happy again? I am sorry, Emeka. I thought I would go and come back to you. I never knew things will turn out like this. I wish to tell you again that you'll be happy in this marriage. I will do everything possible to make you live the life of a queen. I'll take care of you. I promise. Stop crying. What we need now is solution. What we need now is a remedy. Some serious friends. So, Azoka, you mean to tell me that my love is married? We were shocked at the news, though. And I'm still wondering why Papa will do a thing like that. Though I was told that it's something they must do before the sacrifice have effects. From what we are meant to understand, it is for the betterment of the kingdom. Betterment of the kingdom, my foot. Every time, betterment of the kingdom. See, let me tell you something. We are still tied down with this deity, sacrifice, and all this nonsense. See, eh? What pains me most is that I want her, but she wouldn't listen. Now, see where we have landed. Please calm down. Why are you sounding as if you are the only one that misses her? We all miss her, especially me. I miss her so much. See, don't worry. You will soon find someone that will replace her someday. That is where you go wrong, Azoka. Let me tell you something. You see, Adama is the only jewel in this kingdom, and nobody, nobody can replace her. Come now, where are you going to? 
Our tradition is not evil, it is the ways of our vandals, so sacred and pure. Yeah. Open and I got to get them. Open and I got to get them. Open and I got to I will always be grateful to the spirits that guide me for giving me the intelligence to pull this stunt. Who could have thought that I, Ogwefi Une, will marry a beautiful woman like this and a virgin? It is true that the port of Oruru is to cleanse the land and it is also good for the bearer to be a virgin. But marrying her was my own idea and I had to tie it down to the sacrifice so that the people will not have a choice. I promise, on my honor, to sacrifice a giant ram once she puts to bed. How I wish this man knew how I hate him. I can't bear his touch every night. I feel like committing suicide each time I recall I am carrying his child. Why? We are under a gas. Yeah. What we need now is solution. Boy, what we need now is a remedy. Some out of their selfish interest, the elders of Umodala, including my uncle, who used to be my father at that time, forced me into a marriage against my wish. This is a cry of a broken woman. For this, I lay a curse on Umodala. From today henceforth, Umodala will know no peace. Umodala will never see progress. Umodala will never see success. As they have seen peace in my life, so shall their daughters never have peace in their marriages. They will never be happy. Your Majesty, you see, the enemy of Aguilera was very emphatic. And when an authority as elevated as ECDN speaks on a matter such as this, then everyone, in fact, everyone must listen. Honestly, I, I am marveled at this story. The issue here is that the central deity of our people has decided to punish the wickedness unleashed on that innocent maiden. Honestly speaking, that's the height of wickedness. What they showed to that maiden is wickedness. They had the option of consulting the central deity to find out a way to appease the gods who were angry. But they didn't do that. They decided to consult a Dibia. An evil Dibia indeed. And he lured them into making the Ururusha. The climax, the climax of the whole thing is that they forced another of this kingdom to be married to that same Dibia who ministered on lies and deception. Well, I'm not happy to be disgusted a man of sin with you. Yes, but because you have shown this level of concern, I will have to ask you, what solution did he prefer? A very simple. It's a very simple one. 
uh, the central deity has he actually, you know, revealed what we are going to do. There is a reason the the young women are not getting married. There is a reason the young men are not experiencing prosperity. In fact, there is a reason nothing works in our kingdom. And for us to solve this problem, the central deity is insisting that uh, we are going to conduct a cleansing ritual. A cleansing ritual that will uproot the remnant of that charm from wherever it has permeated in this kingdom and then sent out of Omodala kingdom. Ritual, you said? Yes, I said a cleansing ritual that will solve the problem, that will cleanse our land and solve the problem. Oh, no way. There should be another way. Not rituals, please. Well, Your Majesty, unfortunately, there is no other way. This way is the only way. And I am pleading with you as a matter of urgency that we should start to work immediately. Well, you know me or no, that I do not subscribe to all those rituals and uh, sacrifices. No, I do not buy that idea. You should know by now. In all this, you should know that. What? I believe in the saving grace of the New Testament. And to tell you the truth or no, why are you looking at me as if you, you find what I'm saying strange? I don't want to be part of this. I don't want to be part of your rituals. I don't want to be part of your gods. Yeah, but just, I'm looking at you because what you are saying is indeed very strange. You are not supposed to be sounding this way. After you are the one who listed all the problems and I'm telling you how to solve it. You shouldn't be sounding this way anymore. Even the New Testament you are making reference to. Said it clearly in the same New Testament that we should render unto Caesar the things that are Caesar's and unto God the things that are God's. So I wouldn't know why I am telling you what you got to do for Caesar now. And you are looking at me and say, Yeah, I don't want to get involved. I don't understand. You don't want to solve the problem or what? And in all your wisdom and interpretation of this chapter or verse that you claim you know now, you think this justifies idolatry? Oh no, oh no, if the people continue to pray, believe me, there will be prosperity once again in this our Omodala kingdom. I do not buy the idea of sacrifice and I will not be part of it anymore. They won, they did previously, it's what is causing problems in our land now. Oh please, oh no, please. But your majesty, why is it difficult? Oh, there's no but. Let the people continue to pray. My Bible made me to understand that prayer is the key. Not just the key, but the very master key. My Bible also made me to understand with prayers, you can move mountain and also make the mountain to be level. And you remember in point that your Bible did not mention Omodala anywhere. This is a problem in Omodala. We should solve it the Omodala way. <laughs> okay, Okeke is a man of many parts. And uh, you cannot say you don't know him. But nevertheless, I will speak with him and we'll find a way forward. Your Majesty, there is no other way forward apart from prayers. My Bible made me to understand that prayer is the key. Not just the key, but the very master key. I agree with you. You are right. But I need you to also understand that culture is different from religious fantasies. I am the king of Umandala Kingdom and I cannot turn my back on the ways, the tradition, the customs of our people, the ways of our forefathers, just because of religion. No. I want you to understand, Your Majesty, that your faith is being tested right now. Do not play into their hands. Lolo is here, man. The preaching is one thing I am not prepared for right now. But the but word of God is life. We cannot live without the word of God. How can we live without it, your majesty? 
Ne. You have made your point. I want to be given the freedom to process the things I can process. Hi. Hello. Who do we have here? <laughs> Urena, my runaway friend. You're most welcome. Thank you so much. Good to much. see you again. Good to see you Please too, have a seat, love. darling. Thank you. Whoa. So, I'm happy <laughs> to see you. So, how have you been? I'm fine. I'm sorry I haven't come to see you. I've been very busy. I understand. So, how is everything with you? Well, I actually came here for something very important. Okay. Talk about it. It's about us and our kingdom. Really? I'm yes. listening. My father revealed something to me. A very shocking one. A problem I never knew existed. That is the reason we've been facing so much problem in this community. Oh. Sis, can you just tell me about it? Just can you? Let me. Let me in. It is the ways of our vandals. So sacred up pure. Oh. Hi, bro. Mucho, how are you? Yeah, how have you been? Oh! How are you? I'm fine, how are you? Where have you been? I just went to do one or two. What is it? You don't, you don't look bright at all, though. Wait a minute. Mother brought prayer warriors to the house. Yeah, she did. They've been praying. And very soon I believe we'll be called upon. Honestly, if I had known, I would have just stayed back at my friend's place. Is it that she doesn't want to understand that this, this is not what we need? Mm, I have no idea. Mother asked you to come call us, right? Come on, bro. Mother only asked me to call you too. To come join us for prayers. I said it. I knew it. All right, go. We'll join you. Mm -mm. I am not living here without two of you. Huh? Mm -hmm. Ha! Ah, Shabbat Yadadabash. Listen, I feel the anointing of God in this place. Put on your garment of prayer and repeat after me. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. My father. Every power, Every power that is fighting this house. That is fighting this house. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Break! Open your mouth. Break, 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 break. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Fire, 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 fire. Every power holding this way home. I command you by the strength of heaven. Break in the name of Jesus. 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 For the Bible says, I'm going to let you know. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. In Jesus' name we are praying. Yeah. In Jesus' name we have destroyed. Yeah. Lift up your hands. Begin to wave your hands with heaven. And begin to thank the Almighty God. For things are beginning to evolve in the spirit. I see spiritual earthquakes. I see deliverances. Open your mouth and thank God. Ah, Father, we thank you. Thank you, thank you for the deliverance. Ah, in Jesus' name. Amen. Your Majesty, I wish God can open your eyes to see what I'm seeing. Mm. I see altars breaking. Mm. Father, we thank you. Thank you we commit this royal home into your hands. You said the heart of a king is in your hands. Oh, yes. You said in your word that the earth is the law and the fullness thereof. The earth does not belong to ancestral powers. So we decree and we declare. Yes. We pass heaven decree. Yes. This house is free. Yes. This house is free. Yes. This house is free. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. If I be a man of God, I declare this house is free. In the name of Jesus. Amen.
I see this house coming out of bondage. I see evil turns breaking. Father, we thank you. We commit this royal home into your hands. Let your spirit take over. Every power that has been troubling them. Hi. By the mandate of heaven, I command them broken. In the name of Jesus. Hi. Hi. God is doing things. <laughs> My spirit man is dead. <laughs> Hi. Lift up your voice and begin to sing. Thank you. Thank you. Up your voice and say. Thank you. Easy day no do I greet you. Okay, cool, Kadik, you are welcome. Easy day no, it is said that the toad does not run in the afternoon for nothing. It is either he is running after something or something is after him. Yes, you are absolutely right. Easy day no, the last time I was here, you told me something about the cleansing ritual that we must perform for our Umodala kingdom to become normal again. Yes, I am sure that uh, you still remember exactly what I said then. Yes, I remember. The problem now is that the queen of my Umodala kingdom is vehemently kicking against the cleansing ritual. I have not managed to open up this discussion with, uh, with the king. But from what I am seeing, it is going to be impossible for the queen to allow that cleansing ritual to hold. Okay, cool, Kadike. When did you start talking like a woman? This is not about the queen or the royal family. It is about the entire kingdom. And let me say something new here. The life of an innocent maiden was rudely truncated when men failed to listen to their priest. They hired a Dibia who fraudulently got an easy wife. Naya, depression will soon set in and the youths of your land eh, will be more divided. Is it here? I want this problem to be solved. We do not want further problems in Omodala Kingdom. That is actually why I am here. The ball is in your court. Hmm? Do those things I told you you must do. And enjoy your peace. I am surprised that this got to the Queen's ear before me. Your Majesty, you were not around. And uh, the Queen demanded to know. She showed me serious concern, not just as a mother, but as the Queen of the Kingdom. Your Majesty, I have to open up to her because uh, she is a, a mother who has children that one way or the other are equally affected. To the best of my knowledge, my king, there is no family in Omodala who is left out. No family is saved. In fact, every single family is affected. Yeah, I know this will give rise to different opinions in the kingdom. The queen is kicking against it already. So, what are you suggesting, my king? Are you going to ignore it? No. No. We will have to consult us or deliver. You know, is uh, our um, our you know seer and um, the chief priest of our kingdom. Maybe the ghosts are going to say something about it. Well, Your Majesty, if that is the way you see it, I am not in a position to go against the decision of my king. Uh, if that is what you want us to do, then I will suggest we do it immediately. Yes, in doing it immediately, we don't have to apply desperation. I want us to be more of uh, cautious. 
instead of desperation. As it pleases you, my king. Ozo Delibe, you have been on this for a very long time now. Are you not seeing anything? Or is it that what you are seeing is so heavy? Talk to us. What is it? Patience. Patience, please. What a man does not know is greater than him. If the previously silent gods have decided to make a revelation through the great seer from another land, then he should not be doubted. Everything is clearer now. It's only the cleansing ritual that is the way out. Are you saying that there is nothing else we can do apart from the cleansing? Your Majesty, if there were, I would have told you. Nothing else can be done except the cleansing ritual. It's a curse on the land, and so let the cleansing ritual that can take it out. Some say let's pray, some say let's do the ritual. Boy, we need to... Young ladies of Omodala Kingdom, I summoned each and every one of you here today to address the issue that has befallen us in this land, which has affected each and every one of us seated here in one way or the other. Well, I learned that some of you are not the idea of following your no know revelation, while some are not in support. First, before I continue, I would like to say kudos to each and every one of you that is not in support of Jonowu's revelation. I want you to know that all of us are in this together. And we all are children of God. But the only way and the best way to tackle this thing that has befallen us in Omodala Kingdom is by being prayerful. My Bible made me to understand that a prayerless Christian is a powerless Christian. So, I want you people to be wise in making your choice. Because anything that has to do with rituals is against our faith. <clears throat> My queen, we appreciate your concern. But we are all worried. It is one thing for you to have a problem and don't even know that the problem exists or having a solution to it. And it's another thing for you to have a problem and know that you have a problem and a solution to it. We have all been in the dark until the know who gave us the revelation of which we confirm and know that is the truth. My queen, we are all eager to follow practical solutions. Oh, we walk by faith and not by sight. My Bible made me to understand this. My daughter, you can embark on any solution by not getting yourself involved with fetish things. But there is a cause in the land, your majesty. No one is disputing that fact, my daughter. But making sacrifices to the deity of this kingdom, it is what I, the queen of this land, is against us. But this is a very serious issue, my queen. Well, my queen, we've all heard what you said. And we understand you perfectly, my queen. And I'm sure we all will be able to make the right decision 
This is what I want to hear. Because I wouldn't want any selling wrong ideas in the minds of people. There is problem in the land. Listen, if you don't tell me why you're crying, there is no way I'm gonna help. Talk to me. What is it? What? Luca just got married. Luca. Yes. Which one are you talking about? Bring, bring it down. Keep it down. Keep it down, okay? I understand that you're worried, but just keep it down. Is it the same guy you went to see last week? He's married. He didn't tell me anything. Julia just called. Julia just called to inform me. And I went to his wall. And I confirmed. It is true. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Excuse me? Mm. Is that all you could do? What would you have me do? No, tell me, my dear sister, what do you want me to do? When you've been busy following mom all about, thinking that you've been exempted from this whole thing facing all of us. And do you think that this development has anything to do with your cleansing room? Of course, it has everything to do with it. Oh, you have no idea? Well, you can actually sit down here and console yourself all you want. But I tell you something. This is the reality of Omodala. And you're most welcome. Mm. Ah, before I forget. The ritual is taking place very soon. And everyone is invited. Omodala, hey. uh, there is problem in the land. Uh, I never took part in their practices. Why then am I affected? Something is wrong somewhere. Some say let's pray, some say let's do hey. uh, There is problem in the land. Uh, in line with the representative laws of Omodala, all families of this land are represented in Okuku. Even the masquerades and deities of this land are represented with Anyacho, the king of the masquerades. As I drive this along, let Every spirit of setback dissolve into this and follow me out of this land. There is problem in the land. Solution. Oy, what we need now is a remedy. Some say let's pray, some say let's do the ritual. Oy, we need to appease the gods of our land. Oy, whoa, whoa, yo, oy. If and now, whoa, whoa, yo. Father. Yeah. I'm still surprised that this ritual that we have been avoiding all this while is this simple thing of what Fiognobi is doing. You don't believe in what he's doing? It's not as if I don't believe, but 
that simple thing is what we have been avoiding all this while. <laughs> well, more reason why I kicked against it when the youths decided to take the so-called bull by the horn. I knew they would make a mess of it because they lack the basic understanding of what it's all about. I just, I just hope that this whole thing works because the people of Umodala are worried. Everyone wants answers to questions. Trust me, Umodala will not remain the same after this. I hope so. So I take it to be that all of you are satisfied with the level of insults we are facing now in Umodala. What insult are you talking about? Do not ask me such dumb question. As you speak, your so-called priest is roaming about our kingdom. Now it's a news. I ask you, what kind of picture are we painting? I ask, what kind of signal are we giving to people? Go there. You will see your so-called priest. A lot of people are taking videos of him. And soon, it will be uploaded on internet. The whole world will see it. And they will tag us as primitive people still wallowing in paganism. No, it's your man, stop. Stop. What people feel about us is of no concern to me. The chief priest is going about doing what he has to do to free the people. The people who believe in him 100%, it works for them. It won't work for people like you because you never believed in him. Even when the priest has not concluded the ritual, I'm already feeling as though a heavy body is lifted off my shoulder. <laughs> It is not just lifted off your shoulder, my dear. It is lifted off this kingdom. The burden of setback, the burden of stagnation has been lifted off this kingdom. Let me tell you something. You see you eh, and all the youths of this kingdom who have deep-rooted respect for our traditional and cultural relevance in this kingdom, they will never lack anything anymore. You see? Shuku Okika Biyama is going to give you the husband of your dream. You see? And then he will continue to guide you and protect you every step of the way. You see? <laughs> you have proven to be the daughter of a masculine and in all honesty, my dear, I am very proud of you. Oh, my okay. Okay. Very, very proud of you. There is problem in the land. Yeah. Oh, Modala, hey. Hey. We are on the gas. Yeah. What we need now is solution. Oy. What we need now is a remedy. Some say let's pray, some say let's do the ritual. Boy, we need to appease the gods of our land. Boy, whoa, whoa, yo, boy. If any man no more than you, oh, hey. There is problem in the land. As we sound the cannon, the rain of cleansing will surely come. The flood shall carry you into an unknown. Along with all the setbacks and all the evil that you brought. The blessings that the gods shall bring upon Omodala will surely dwarf all the setbacks and all the negativities that we have experienced in the past. You see, ah, ways of our fathers, tradition of my people is never evil. This is the practices of our fathers. Ah. 
What? Honestly? Hey. I just heard the last of the seven cannon shots. That means you're free now. Omodala is free! <laughs> I'm so happy. You must be very stupid to have linked your freedom to the hidden Pratas. What is all this? I bet you, you are going to regret it. There is nothing to regret, mother. Listen, there is victory in the air. The gods have done it. I am not here to join words with you, mother, but I need you to know something. Omodala will never remain the same. <laughs> I'm super happy. What stupid freedom are you talking about? I am highly disappointed to have found out that my my golden child is so empty. Oh God, mommy, you won't spoil my mood. You will not spoil my mood, though. What progress? This is the practices of our fathers. Babe, I am the most happiest man on earth right now. Come on, I am happy you came back into my life. Okay. Let me watch you and see if you're gonna still be the man. Wow. Who is... What do we have here? Oh, oh. my beautiful princess. Good afternoon, mom. You're here. Yes, mom. You're welcome, my daughter. Good to see you, mom. Good to see you too, my daughter. You're welcome. Thank mom, you, mom. You? I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> have a seat. Thank you, mom. Wow. Mm -hmm. You're looking beautiful. Thank you, mom. <laughs> I'm sorry for what happened, my daughter. I couldn't have done anything. That's what you face when you have a, a stubborn child as a son. Mom, Mom, they have already established what the problem was. And they have solved it. My princess has forgiven me and we are back together. That's the most important thing. What is he talking about? Well, um, a certain maiden of our land was forced into marriage so many years ago. So, out of heartbreak, she placed a curse on Omodala. That curse has been the reason why a lot has been happening in Omodala. Um, recently, the king and elders in council finally summoned courage to perform a certain cleansing ritual. The cleansing brought peace in Omodala. And that is why a lot of doors are now open. That is interesting. But what took them so long to solve such a problem? Come on, Mom. Are we going into this right now? You should know that unnecessary policies can come into things like this. The most important thing is I am with my woman and we are okay. Talking about politics, my mother was the reason why the cleansing dragged for a very long time because she was busy convincing the women that it was a pagan practice. And the women were busy convincing their husbands and families. So the whole thing took a lot of time. And we needed a general consensus for the ritual to happen. So getting that consensus took us years. That is why it's as if everything elongated more than necessary. But we are fine now. And I bet you there are still so many towns facing the same problems and nothing has been done about it. And I'm happy for you, my dear. So, my princess, what do I offer you? Mom, mm. the question is what do you have in your kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing how everything is turning out well for everybody. Yes. Mm? yes. All the more reason why we should go out and have an elaborate Thanksgiving. Oh, Father, you can say that again. As a matter of fact, I am capable. Not just that, Father. Even in our working place, a contract I've been seeking for a long time from... Uh, liquefied? Oh, you know about the liquefied natural gas? Mm -hmm. They called me up and said, we're good to go. <laughs> just like that. So, Father, it goes a long way to let us know that the cost of this young maiden has been lifted. Yes. And you see, it is clear to everybody. Except maybe to people like your mother. But not to worry, very soon it will become clear to her. Hmm? So, my dear, 
Majesty. Assuming my son is ready to get married now, are you ready to? <laughs> I'm ready, my king. He is the man of my dreams. Oh. <laughs> and I cannot wait to be his forever. Uh, you're welcome, my dear. Thanks. And I am sure, on my own, that you are going to enjoy this family. I'm already enjoying myself, my king. <laughs> Thank you for accepting me. Yeah. Isoma, I am not one of those men who speak anyhow. It came up in our ministration as we ministered on the caduces of Ogili. But we have not shared that information with anybody. We have not. No. Oh no, you know, this whole thing is still, you know, confusing to me. How? You want to tell me that? You went to Dibiafa and mentioned my name? Hmm? Isioma, by the time you understand how these things work, you will stop kicking against the tradition of our people. Nobody mentions anybody's names. Names will always come up on their own. Listen, you are going to solve this problem for yourself. By the time you understand what I am saying, you will discover that the tradition of our people, the same one they told you is evil and must be destroyed, is actually more solemn and more sacred than what the white men brought with them. You see, dear the problem here is that so many people are kicking against this cleansing ritual. We are just delaying because I am hoping that we will be able to find at least 80% of the people, of our people who will be interested to key into what we are doing. And you are not getting it because the people in power are kicking against it. They are kicking against it so much. And that is why I'm here. For you to tell me if there is a kind of sacrifice I will perform, a sacrifice that will make it possible for this wave of disagreement, wave of resistance to be banished from our modular kingdom so that we, we can just do this thing and uh, have our peace back. Mm, the resistance is so much. A woman who is morally debased is at the head of it. What does that mean? Do you know Isioma? The daughter of Nkenkenyi, Nachi Gwenyos. Of course I know her. She is not just a woman, she is uh, the wife to the king. The queen of my land. Mm -hmm. And most importantly, she is one of the people who are vehemently kicking against the cleansing ritual. She is not just one of the people. She is at the head of the resistance. And there is a reason for that. Are you serious? Yes. What is it? She has been sleeping with that deceiver called Pastor Ezekiel. Pastor Ezekiel? Yeah. The same Pastor Ezekiel who has been trying to convince the king to set his king on fire. That man knows that if the cleansing is performed, that will expose their manipulations. And that is why they are kicking against it. But I will advise you to ignore them. The king of the king will soon forget that she is a wife of his own. Hmm? And allow the demon of madness to descend on her. Pastor Ezekiel. Yes. Pastor Ezekiel. Yes. Look at it. That is it. The same man who told me about the maiden who laid the curse on our kingdom. You only told me that the demon of madness will catch up with you. No. If you fail, 
if you fail to stop this desecration and embrace in totality the sacredness of royal marriage, the madness will catch up with you. No. Please, no. Are you sure you've not told anyone this? Why should I tell anyone this when I have always known that the king of the king will always protect him? I have not told anything to anybody. But I am just hoping that you will task yourself and help yourself. And you will start by cutting every single relationship you have with that man, that your so-called pastor Ezekiel, who has been disturbing you. You will cut off everything with him and then you will stop. Embrace the way of life of our people. Start living decent life of a woman married into royalty. If you can do this, everything, everything will be fine. You see, eh, what I'm going to do is that I will cause a sanctification process to be initiated for you. In this process of sanctification, every demon and every evil spirit that may have found their ways into your life because of the kind of illicit life you have been living, all of them will be banished out of your life never to come back. I will do it for you on the condition that you will stop Thank you. Thank you so much, you know. I never knew you're such a decent man. Thank you so much. I will never do this again, I promise. Um, be rest assured, I'm going to reward you. I will. Pankadi, you know me too well. I don't easily reach this kind of conclusion, but once I do, I make sure it's carried out to the last letter. Oh no, don't preach to me about that man. That man we are talking about holds a very strong information about me, of which if I allow that man to leave and he unleashes that information out, is doomed for me. Listen, Pankadi, I want you to kill that man and you have to do it tonight. My Bible made me to understand that we will not suffer the witch to live in the congregation of the righteous. He is a wizard and he must die. Settled. Does it? I am going to pay in the sum of one million naira into your account, if that will make you walk. I'm sure you haven't seen such an amount before, so <laughs> begin to smile and praise God. Oh yes, Pankadi, listen, listen before you drop, make sure you shoot him, and when you do, do not just run out like a coward, stay there, watch him die, make sure he's dead. All right then, counting on you. Let him die. Tradition of my power. I had a key dinner. Oh, men and they are digging them. Oh, men and they are digging them. It is a good and good genus. No, 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 our tradition is not evil, it is the ways of our vandals, so sacred and pure. Oh my god, it is too late. He must have already told them everything. <sighs> Congratulations! <laughs> congratulations, my queen. Congratulations? You are congratulating me. You are not. 
you're not, you're, you're not angry at me. Why will I be angry at you? When you have won the mother of all contracts. Oh. <laughs> That's nice. My God, it's fateful. Ways of our fathers, <laughs> tradition of my people, a slave and evil. This is the practices of our fathers. ever since you got back. I mean, I feel something is wrong. And as the head princess of this palace, I deserve to know what is wrong with my mother. Am I wrong? Amuche, are you being technical with me right now or what? Did I tell you that something was bothering me or something was wrong? So why are you forcing me to tell you what the problem is? Well, if you said nothing is wrong, Mom, I am definitely not going to force you to tell me anything. I mean, I have no doubt. That's right, that's right. But yes, I am super excited. I've got a great news. <laughs> Martins will be coming for my introduction very soon. Oh, really? Yes, Mom. Wow. That's nice. What a good news. Mom? <sighs> what is wrong with her? Evil, this is the practices of our fathers. Father. Yeah. Oh, I don't know how to say this, but I, are you not suspecting anything? I don't, I don't have any reason to suspect anything. But you know your mother is a complex human being. I think uh, she is putting up all this attitude because of the way we dismissed her over the plan, the Thanksgiving. Okay, if, if you say so. Our father, something is wrong. I beseech that you, you, you try to find out what it is tonight. Tonight? Okay. Let me not dismiss you like that too. I will try to find out whatever it is tonight. Alright. Ways of our fathers. Tradition of my people. It's never evil. Well, all I can say is that everything is now said for the Thanksgiving. At the last count, we have received in donation 66 cows. Automatically, that makes it a feast. <laughs> yeah, the most important thing is that the president of the town union has vacated himself of his earlier stand on the, on the matter. Yes, he is now fully involved. Not only him. Every single group in Omodala will be participating. And I am hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping that we are going to make this Thanksgiving an annual event. Yes. Well, I will, I will try and see you tomorrow so we can put final touches to everything we are arranging. Hmm. <laughs> okay then. Yeah, good night. So good. So good to always stand your ground on positive matters. Tradition of my people is never evil.
This man must have come to kill me. That is why he is trapped by forces of nature. Who are you? And what are you doing in my compound? Ways of our fathers, tradition of my people, is never evil. This is the practices of our fathers. Hello, Your Majesty. See, I need your help right now. Else, I'm going to be destroyed. Please. Your Majesty, please calm down and explain things to me. What happened? See, I need you to gather your prayer warriors wherever they are. Let them stand by and begin to cover us. Please, I want that man to be free and to run away. If that man regains consciousness, Till noon, you know what that means. Your Majesty, you are saying so many things at the same time. Please, make me understand. And which man are you talking about? Oh, come on, Bastille, see, girl. I'm talking about Pankati. The man I sent to Rose's house to go and kill him. He got there. The forces guiding Ono who held Pankati captive in the middle of Ono's compound. He cannot move anymore. Now, listen. If you don't do anything and he regains his consciousness come on i am completely ruined please i need him to get himself and run away oh this is not good remember i told you i've encountered that man in the spirit realm and he's a very weird being he's weird yes yes you said so but you you should have an age <sighs> You know, over him. Come on. Uh, Your Majesty, you know what? I think um, my ministry in this town has been ruined already. And in order for me not to end like John the Baptist, it's time to leave this town. Come on, Pastor Ezekiel. How can you do this? You want to run to where and leave me? After all that I've done for you, after giving you myself, the body of also. We need to fight this together and we need to fight till the end. Please. Hello? 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 So, this is who you are. Tradition of my people is never evil. One more move from you, you will steal the brutality of a Wenoama. By the way, who are you and what brought you to this compound? Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. My name is Obi Orume, but they call me Pankadi. Please, she's the one that sent me. She said there is an information on who has that she doesn't want it to let out. She said that she will kill him in order to suppress the information. Who is the person? He's the queen, Queen Isioma, wife of the king. Please, I'm sorry. Uh, 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 hello, uh, Your Majesty. Yes, he has, uh, he has just regained himself. Uh, but Your Majesty, he has just made a very damaging confession. Your Majesty, Isioma, your wife, is the one who sent him. Sent him to kill me in order to suppress the information from ECDN of Agulere. 
And that information is that your wife has been sleeping with the same pastor Ezekiel. So you knew about it all along? Oh no. You knew all along and you never told me? I, I, Your Majesty, don't be offended, but I, I was uh, more concerned with her confession and repentance. Your Majesty, I was concerned with her repentance. What is the gain in destroying your marriage with that beautiful woman? I was hoping that she would repent and stop. That's why I didn't want to tell you. I didn't want to bother your ears with that kind of information. Well, she has taken her own life. I caught her red-handed, making a call to her partner in crime. She walked in in tears and then... Uh, short while after that, I heard the palace workers screaming in noise. She, you know, climbed up to the water, you know, safety tank pavilion and... Uh, landed on her head and died on the spot. That woman who sent you to come and kill me has taken her own life. What will I do with you? Oh, please, please forgive me. Please forgive me, Mamma Zios. Please, Baralom. Eh? Please, I'm sorry. Nani kid gezi. Oraka bo gezi. You can't know what. Spare my life, please. Begging you, take this man. Stand up. He's a father's tradition of my people. It's never evil. This is the practices of our fathers. Ah, oh, well, oh, well, oh, well. Oh, men are not a diggy day. Then look at that, oh, men are not a man, oh, no, 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 our tradition is not evil, it is the ways of our vandals, so sacred and pure. Oh, men and I got to get them. Oh, yeah, they get them. Oh, yeah, they get them. Oh, yeah, they get them.